Shift and delay is a helpful phrase. It's meant to give you a visual way of looking at the relationship between two functions, f of t and u a of t times f of t minus a. Literally, the u a of t times f of t minus a is shifting f and then delaying its beginning. That's why we call it shift and delay. For example, if you have a parabola f of t equals t squared, then to say u3 of t times f of t minus 3 literally means shift that parabola three units to the right, full parabola, but multiply it by the heaviside function means it's equal to zero until you get to three seconds. And then it heaviside function turns to one and I pick up that parabola times one. I'll have zero and then that right hand branch of that parabola. So that's just a way of describing this shape right here. What about the function sine t? To say u pi of t times f of t minus pi, u pi of t times sine of t minus pi, that just means that I'm going to take the sine function, shift it pi units to the right, but then just clip off the part that comes before pi. Don't turn it on until it becomes before pi. It's a way of creating a function that is exactly the properties of the sine function, but starts at a time of my own choosing. So it could be a way of describing input to a differential equation. It's a very handy way of looking at modifying a function.